Hello and welcome to Diecast Restos. My name is Jason and I am a rank amateur modeler. This is my first ever attempt at modeling or restoration of any kind, so let's see how it goes. So today I've decided to do the 14C low mass ambulance, which um, is in a pretty bad way. I picked it up on eBay. Um, it's missing its back doors, it's scratched to bits and I thought I'd give it a go after watching some other videos on YouTube and might as well record my progress and see how I get on. So as you can see there's a lot of paint damage and there's actually a little bit of body damage here on the back as well. Luckily no plastics damage, that's all good. So here's a few close-ups of the model where it seems to have lost a lot of its paintwork over the years through excessive play. It looks like it might have been buried at one point, it's covered in mud. So here are the original water slide transfers stating LCC ambulance that I bought online and also the doors for the rear. The doors themselves are made to fit, um, however you can quite clearly see here they do not. They'll need a quick prime and to be sprayed in the same colour as the rest of the model. This just evidences that the roof just needs a little bit of work just to adjust the size and shape. So first here I'm just going to remove the wheels, what I've done is clamp down uh, using a pair of pliers to remove the rear wheels first of all and gently remove them from the base. So there's no grinding or any jobs along that line. On to drilling out the rivet post, I've used one of my finest bathroom towers inside of my vise um, and I've used a one and a half millimetre drill bit to drill directly into the rivet post here. It varies which way around I drill out the rivet post or drill out the new screw hole. Personally I don't think it particularly matters which way around you do it. Here I'm just easing the base off from that front rivet post, it does clip into the back. And so that base is now removed. The plastic interior just needs a little bit of persuasion using a flat-headed screwdriver. And hey presto, there's the three main components of the model. So what I'm doing now is just doing a little bit of panel beating just to remove the dent marks from the roof line. Just a gentle tap on the back just to sort of form it into shape. Here, instead of using any paint stripper, because there's so little paint actually left, I've decided to go for the approach of just chipping it off very gently with some dental tools that I picked up from eBay. I chose to use this method just because the paint was already very loose, so using various sizes of picks to scrape away piece by piece just to loosen it up. Now with this restoration I do have to apologise for many of the out of focus shots. I was just getting used to using the camera from a jaunty angle, but I do promise that the future restorations will be much better in quality. So now I'm using a wire brush in order to remove the excess paint left over. So it's polished up quite nicely, the only real issue is the back bumper which has a bit of a crack in it, so a little bit of super glue should sort that right out. So now I'm just going to do the same process with the base, just pick off the last little bits of black paint. So here I'm just going to use some basic super glue to seal that broken rear bumper in place so just a little dab in the corner i'll leave it in the vise overnight what i would tend to do sometimes is use a bit of baking soda just so it sets a little bit faster so here i'm just giving the rear doors a little bit of a rub down they don't need too much attention it's just using some very fine sanding products and I really don't want to be breaking off the posts that hold the door in, otherwise that's another purchase. Truth be told, I did have to buy two lots of these. So here recreating uh, a little bit of Marty's magic, using my wife's, oh, I have to say, old toothbrush, just to clean off the excess dirt as it seems to have seen better days. 
So just giving the wheels and the plastic insert a little bit of scrubbing, warm soapy water, uh, just to clean off that excess dirt. And after a quick clean, they seem to be good as new. Right, so what I'll do here, I'm going to use some of this Humbrol model filler. Ignore my white Russian in the corner. Just to seal in the small gap in the roof. So here I am filing and smoothing it down. And then rubbing down with a mesh abrasive. So here I am, this is the first priming spray of the series. So you're just using the Tamiya Fine light grey primer for this one. Doing it outdoors because as of yet I don't have a, a booth for spraying in unfortunately. But outdoors is fine on a non-windy day. But with that primer applied you can see a lot of the finer details again which is nice to see. And I've also given the base a go over in a black spray as well. So now just coating the doors using Tamiya's TS7 Racing White colour. I don't use airbrush at the moment, uh, mainly due to the fact that I, I wasn't sure how far I would really continue, um, whether this would just be a one-off. I've not looked into it too far. At the time of recording, I'd say I've made three, four models. Um, I'm just going to continue with the sprays for the time being, but we might well upgrade to an airbrush, but we shall see. I've clamped on to the rivet post, just making sure to coat every area. But I was very happy with the finish of the first coat. Obviously it will need a couple more just to seal it in a little more. It's good coverage, these Tamiya paints are very high quality. What I'm doing now is just giving a light rub down on the wheels, followed by a quick varnish with the um, Tamiya Black X1 acrylic paint, and mixing it down with a little bit of paint thinner just to give it a light coat. What I'm doing here is putting the axles into my drill, and I'm gonna hold the axle against the sandpaper that I have just to give them a nice fresh finish. Unfortunately, my file corrupted for where I put the uh, model back together again, including the base. What I'd done for the base was to reattach the axles and the wheels and just use the rounded end of a hammer just to tap them in place, just to seal the wheels back in again because the pliers had flattened them out slightly. So just a quick tap of the hammer and they're back in place. But overall, after three coats of paint, I'm very happy with the finish. Uh, the doors are, were very tricky to get the paint to adhere to, um, so they took a bit of work. And like I say, they needed <laughs> they needed two doors. So here I'm using a Pentel Medium Bullet paint pen. I'm applying the paint from the pen directly to the grill, and I'm also going to do this with the wheels as well, just to cover the hubs a little where they've been hammered back in. Here I'm going to be applying the water slide transfers. So what I do first is to wet the area on the model. I use a pair of tweezers to pick up the transfer from the water after it's been immersed for about a minute or two. And gently using earbuds Q-tip, I position the transfer into place. So not using any force at all, just rolling over the transfer just so it sets in place nicely and can absorb a little of the excess water. So here we are then, this is the model itself. I'm very happy with the outcomes here. It's my first go and I'm quite proud of the achievements. I, usually I have no patience whatsoever when it comes to sort of fine details and I didn't even realise how small the models were. And so here it is on my cheap tacky turntable. I'm not completely happy with some of the details. Uh, the rear doors are, could probably do with another going over. Um, or another purchase. <laughs> I'm very pleased with the overall finish. It's a heck of a lot better than it was previously. 
The details can be seen again. The transfer looks really nice in that sort of original, slightly warped kind of colour, a slightly darker shade to it. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate any likes and subscribes. I will be updating this channel regularly. And it just leaves me to say thank you for watching again and take care.